It's going to be a powerful night. It's going to be a night when you will address those challenges of your life. It's going to be a night when you will pray prayers. It's going to be a night when the fullness of God will come down. And get ready. The Lord will touch you this night. The altar that alters every plague, the plague of the enemy, the plague of the wicked one, the plague of sicknesses, the plague of infirmities, the altar that alters every plague, we show up for you this night in the name of Jesus. I am very confident the Lord is going to manifest himself this night in the name of Jesus. You are going to see the hand of the Lord. You are going to see the move of God this night. And every prayers you are going to make during this hour of solution, the Lord will answer our prayers in the name of Jesus. Before we pray, I'll be speaking to us on the topic, the day of God's power. Our topic tonight is the day of God's power. And I want to announce to every viewers, this night is the day of God's power. This night is the day of God's power. And on the day of God's power, great things happen. On the day of God's power, there is deliverance. On the day of God's power, there is answers to prayers. On the day of God's power, there is no impossibility. On the day of God's power, mountains are moved. Sicknesses are healed. Barriers are removed. The powers of darkness on the day of God's power are subdued and defeated. And this night, is the day of God's power. And that gives me confidence that the Lord will touch you tonight. That gives me confidence that you are going to experience God tonight. And anywhere you are watching this program, look unto heaven. On the day of God's power, there is no impossibilities. Look unto heaven. He's a mighty God. He's a great God. And on the day of God's power, he manifests. He shows up. And tonight, God will show up in the name of Jesus. Don't forget, our topic tonight is the day of God's power. I'll be speaking to us tonight on the topic, the day of God's power. Our test is taken from the book of Joshua. The book of Joshua the book of Joshua. If you have a copy of the Bible there, please read along with us. That's our text for tonight. The book of Joshua, we read verse 8 and verse 12 to 14. Don't forget, I'm speaking to us tonight on the topic, the day of God's power. Joshua chapter 10, we read verse 8, verse 12 to 14. And the Lord said unto Joshua, Fear them not, for I have delivered them into thy hand. There shall not a man of them stand before thee. Let me hear an amen. Let me hear a powerful amen. This night, no man, no challenge, no enemy will be able to stand before us. This night, every sickness, every sickness will bow tonight. This night, every impossibility will be subdued tonight in the name of Jesus. Verse 12. Then spake Joshua to the Lord, in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel, and he said in the sight of Israel, Some stand thou still upon Gibeon, and thou moon in the valley of Ajalon. 
And that's what and that's what you are going to do tonight. You are going to speak to that your mountain. You are going to speak to that challenge of your life. You are going to speak to the enemy. You are going to speak to that barrenness. Remember, tonight is the day of God's power. And on the day of God's power, impossibilities are made possible. And this night, you are going to speak to those challenges. You are going to speak to that mountain. You are going to speak to that stop on problem. That stop on sickness that have defied every medical solution. This night, on the day of God's power, we are going to speak to that sickness. And that sickness will submit in the name of Jesus. Verse 13. And the sun stood still. And the sun stood still. And the moon stayed. And the moon stood still. That's the day of God's power. And this night is the day of God's power. The enemy will stand still. The barriers will stand still. And the sun stood still. And the moon stayed. Until the people have avenged themselves upon their enemies. It's not this written in the book of Jesha. So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven and hastened not to go down about a whole day. And there was no day like that before it or after it that the Lord hearkened unto the voice of a man. For the Lord fought for Israel. That's the day of God's power. The day of God's power is a day of wonders. The day of God's power is a day of miracles. And you could see here, that was the day of God's power. We could see the impossible becoming possible. We could see things that we are naturally not possible becoming possible because that was the day of God's power. What God cannot do does not exist and can never exist. It does not matter what you are going through now. It does not matter the height, the depth, the shape, and the size of that challenge you are going through now. Tonight is the day of God's power. I'm very excited tonight because I know what it means to be on the day of God's power. I know what it means to experience the day of God's power. And tonight, is the day of God's power. There is no impossibility that will not submit tonight. The altar that alters every plague will manifest tonight on the day of God's power. I said the altar that alters every plague will manifest tonight on the day of God's power. On the day of God's power, mountains of life's challenges are rolled away. The boastful and the bragging Goliath, those enemies that have, that have bragged, they said over their dead body, they said as long as they are alive, you cannot make headway. They said as long as, as they are alive, you can never have peace. The boastful and the bragging Goliath is subdued and defeated on the day of God's power. And this night, every brother of Goliath that have been bragging, that have been boasting, that have been challenging God in your life, 
Because tonight is the day of God's power. As Goliath of old, the mighty Goliath of old, the terrifying Goliath of old, as he was subdued and defeated on the day of God's power, the brothers of Goliath that have been bragging against your life this night on the day of God's power, they will be subdued in the name of Jesus. God is so powerful. God is so powerful. He has the power to change all and any situation. Remember, I'm speaking to us tonight before we pray on the topic, the day of God's power. And God is so powerful. He has the power to change all and any situation. And whatever situation you are in tonight, whatever situation is confronting you, whatever challenges of life is confronting you, they call it incurable sickness. They call it incurable infirmity. They told you there's no way for you. I want to assure you tonight, because God is so powerful. Because tonight is the day of God's power. The Lord will visit you. The Lord will, will, will visit you tonight. The Lord will deliver you tonight. Like as I said, he's so powerful. He can do all things. He has the power to subdue the enemy and all powers of darkness. The yoke of the enemy, satanic activities, and age-long causes are broken and destroyed on the day of God's power. Have you been carrying a cause? Maybe you are like Reuben, the tribe of Reuben, that a cause was dominating their life. A cause was restraining their life. On the day of God's power, every cause, 20 years cause, age, age long cause, cause placed over your life, over your children, over your destiny, over your family, by any wicked man. On the day of God's power, every cause is cancelled. Very soon I'm going to release us. To begin to, to pray, to begin to exercise authority on this day of God's power. All impossibilities are made possible on the day of God's power. On the day of God's power, there is deliverance for the oppressed and the afflicted. There is breakthrough and open doors. On the day of God's power, there is divine healing. For all sicknesses and diseases. Are you sick? Get ready. Tonight is the day of God's power. Every sickness will be healed tonight. I didn't say will be healed. I didn't say can be healed. I didn't say can be healed. Every sickness must be healed tonight. That reminds me, just a few days ago, somebody called me, I will not mention the country from where he called us. And he called us. The situation of the wife was so terrible. In fact, the wife had to be rushed to ICU, intensive care unit. And the life of that woman was between life and death. The woman could not speak again. I know when somebody is admitted in, in ICU, the case was so terrible. And the husband put a, a call across to us. And by the grace of God, we prayed. And we assured him that as a God, he's so powerful. That's a God, he answers prayers. He's a, a, he's a specialist in dealing with impossible situations. And we assured him, and we made prayers. Just a few days ago, on Thursday, he called us again. He said, Pastor, Praise the Lord. My, my wife cannot speak. My wife has been released from the uh, intensive care unit. In fact, doctor told us that this weekend we can go. That's what happened on the day of God's power. The woman was, that was at the verge of death, that was close to the grave, could not speak. She was between life and death. And prayer was made. Because God is so powerful. 
He's the altar that alters every plague. His power moved and he delivered that woman from the jaws of death. Tonight is your turn. Every sickness. Because tonight is the day of God's power. I don't care the problem you are having. They call it incurable sickness. They call it liver challenge. They call it kidney challenge. Whatever problem, whatever sickness. Tonight is the day of God's power. And on the day of God's power, every impossibility becomes possible. And this night is the night of the day of God's power. I want your faith to be lifted up. That mountain will collapse. That bragging Goliath. This night, very soon, when we begin to pray now, the mighty Goliath, the giant Goliath, the, the boastful Goliath will fall flat tonight because tonight is the day of God's power. Are you incapacitated? Like that woman that was rushed to the I I ICU. She was incapacitated. But when the power of God struck her, she was delivered. She was made whole. Are you incapacitated? Incapacitated in the area of your health. Sickness has incapacitated you. Your finances incapacitated. The enemy has incapacitated your life, incapacitated your family. This night is the day of God's power. And on the day of God's power, everything that is incapacitated in your life comes back to life. Receive life. And this night, everything that is incapacitated in your life, in your family, in your health, in your business, in your career, this night, on this day of God's power, life will come back in the name of Jesus. Are you overwhelmed as a result of the challenges of life, as a result of affliction and difficult life challenges? I bring to you this night a good news, a divine message. And what is that good news? What is that divine message? Tonight is the day of God's power. I'm very excited this night. You see, the Bible said that they that do know their God shall be strong and shall do exploit. I know God. I know what God can do. And that's why I'm talking with every assurance. I'm talking with, no, with every full assurance that tonight is the day of God's power. Those women that are watching us at this time, 20 years barrenness, 15 years barrenness, 10 years barrenness, that person that they said your fallopian tube is blocked, I want to tell you, tonight is the day of God's power. That barrenness will expire tonight. That, uh, that uh, uh, barrenness, that childlessness, fruitlessness in your life, on this day of God's power, it will expire in the name of Jesus. It's the day of God's power. That mountain will bow in the name of Jesus. Every sickness planted in your body shall be uprooted this night in the name of Jesus. Everything and anything tormenting you shall obey the voice and the voice of the Lord and the name of the Lord on this day of God's power. Remember. All impossibilities, name them, are made possible on the day of God's power. And this night is the day of God's power. Joshua did the impossible. Joshua did the impossible. This night I want to announce to our viewers, the impossible is going to become possible on this day of God's power. You will speak to that mountain, yes. Remember, this night is the day of God's power. You will speak to that mountain. You will speak to those challenges of your life. You will speak to the powers that be. You will speak to that barrenness. You speak to that sickness. And you tell that sickness, tonight is the day of God's power. And every sickness will disappear in the name of Jesus. You will speak to Goliath. Goliath is powerless this night. The bragging Goliath, the boastful Goliath, that has defied the armies of Israel. 
that has blasphemed against your God. And the Goliath of today is asking, where is your God? You say you go to church, where is your God? We have caged you. We have incapacitated your life. Where is your God? This night, you will speak to that boastful and bragging Goliath. And tell him, our God is powerful. Our God is mighty. There is nothing he cannot do. He's a great warrior. He's a God that turned impossibilities to, to, to possibility. And this night is the day of God's power. On the day of God's power, mountains bow. On the day of God's power, mountains are rolled away. On the day of God's power, the dead comes back to life. On the day of God's power, sicknesses vanishes away. On the day of God's power, those that have been locked up, and the devil locked you up and went away with the key, and nobody is there to release you, and you have been struggling and struggling for years, and the enemy has locked up your life, locked up your womb, locked up your health, I went away with the key, and you are wondering, who will deliver me? The Lord will deliver you tonight, because this night is a powerful night. It's a night of authority, authority over the enemy, authority over the powers of darkness, authority over life challenges, authority over Goliath, authority, everything that has come to challenge the, the place of God in your life. This night is the night of authority, and very soon we are, we are going to pray. And I want you to pray this night. Everything and any, anything is possible for you tonight. If you want healing, it's possible tonight. Because this tonight is the day of God's power. You want deliverance, it's possible tonight. Because tonight is the day of God's power. You have been, you, 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 the devil has kept you at a place, at one place in life. You cannot make progress in life. This night, those fetters, because tonight is the day of God's power, those fetters will be broken in the name of Jesus. I want you to open your mouth and begin to talk to God now. It's the day of God's power. It's the day of God's power. It's the day of God's power. On the day of God's power, there is solution. On the day of God's power, there is healing. On the day of God's power, every yoke is broken. On the day of God's power, all impossibilities are made possible. Begin to pray tonight. Begin to pray tonight. Begin to pray tonight. It's time to speak to those your mountain. Yes, don't keep quiet. Joshua did not keep quiet. Joshua spoke to the son. He says, Son, stand still. At the battle of Ajalon, at the battle of Ajalon, Joshua needed a victory. Joshua needed a victory. He spoke to the son at the battle of Ajalon. And he says, Son, stand still. You moon, stand still. It's time for you to speak like Joshua. You speak to those your mountain, yes. They, those, those mountain of sickness in your life, you speak to them tonight. That Goliath, it's time to speak to Goliath. Goliath can be defeated. Who is Goliath before our God? Who is Goliath on the day of God's power? You speak to your God, Goliath. Goliath, I come in the name of the Lord. Goliath of barrenness in my life. Goliath of barrenness in your life. Goliath of bondage in your life. You speak to your Goliath tonight. It's the day of God's power. It's the day of God's power. Anywhere you are watching this live broadcast, watching this live program, the hour of solution, a prayer-based program. Tonight is the day of God's power. On the day of God's power, yokes are broken. On the day of God's power, every impossibilities, every impossibilities are made possible. Speak to your challenges tonight. Speak to that mountain tonight. Speak to your Goliath tonight. Speak to that barrenness tonight. That joblessness in your life, speak to you tonight. Remember, it is the hour of solution. It is the hour of solution. It is the hour of solution. Tonight is the day of God's power. It is the day of God's power. I just share with us the testimony of that woman that was rushed to the ICU, intensive care unit. She was about going. She was dying. But thank God, the husband put across, across the call to us and we prayed. 
We exercise authority in the name of Jesus. And before you know it, the woman that could not speak, that was not conscious, that was almost dead, the power of God touched her because it was the day of God's power. And today she's healed. She's delivered. It's your turn. It's your turn. It's your turn. It's your turn. On the day of God's power, no impossibility will stand. On the day of God's power, on the day of God's power, on the day of God's power, the plague, the order that alters every plague is manifested, shows up for you. Pray tonight. Pray. name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. I told us it's a night of authority. It's a night of authority. Remember, the, our topic tonight is the day of God's power. And you must not allow this night to pass you without experiencing God's power. What is the challenges you are having? What is the obstacles in your life? What are those challenges that has overwhelmed your life? What are those negative doctor's reports, negative medical reports? On the day of God's power, all those things doesn't matter. On the day of God's power, every problem is crumbles. On the day of God's power, on the day of God's power, on the day of God's power, the oppressed is delivered. On the day of God's power, those that have been incapacitated, their finances incapacitated, their life incapacitated, their health incapacitated, the enemy has incapacitated their life. On the day of God's power, there is freedom. And tonight is the day of God's power. You are going to pray this night. You are going to pray, oh God, tonight is the day of God's power. Visit me tonight. Visit me tonight. Let every yoke be broken. On the day of God's power, every yoke is broken. On the day of God's power, every yoke is broken. On the day of God's power, every yoke is broken tonight. No yoke survives the, the day of God's power. Goliath did not survive the day of God's power. Little David, little David subdued him, defeated him. On the day of God's power, Goliath cannot survive. What is that Goliath before you? What is that mountain before you? On the day of God's power, every recipe part into do. On the day of God's power, the formidable walls of Jericho, the intimidating walls of Jericho will fall before you, will cry before you. Speak to your mountains tonight. It's a night of authority. It's a night of speaking to your mountains. It's a night of speaking to your challenges. It's a night of speaking to your problems. Because tonight is the night of God's power. It's 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 the night of God's power. Speak to your challenges tonight. Speak to your challenges. Speak to your challenges. Speak to your challenges tonight. Speak to your challenges. Speak to your challenges. It's a night. It's a night of God's power. Speak to your challenges tonight. Speak to your challenges tonight. Speak to your challenges tonight. On the day of God's power, you exercise authority. You exercise authority. You exercise authority. On the day of God's power, the yoke of the enemy is broken. On the day of God's power, satanic activities is destroyed. On the day of God's power, on the day of God's power, on the day of God's power, all challenges, all challenges, all challenges, all challenges bow before the power of God. You pray tonight, you pray tonight. It's the hour of solution. It's the hour of solution. A prayer-based program. And tonight is the day of God's power. It's the day of God's power. You speak to your mountain. Your mountain tonight is the day of God's power. I command you to bow in the name of Jesus. You barrenness in my life. You fruitless, fruitlessness in my life. Tonight is the day of God's power. I command you to bow. On the day of God's power, the enemy is subdued. Yes. On the day of God's power, the boastful Goliath. The boastful 
Goliath. The bragging Goliath is subdued and defeated. Open your mouth tonight. You subdue the enemy in your life. Tonight is the, is the day of God's power. Tonight is the day of God's power. You pray. You call upon the Lord. It's a time to pray. It's a night to pray. The day of God's power, everything is possible. The day of God's power, mountain power. The day of God's power, that long time sickness. That long time sickness. That person that you have a saw, a saw, a saw. You have an ulcer. That ulcer has refused to go. On the day of God's power, every ulcer bows. Pray tonight. This is the day of God's power. This is the day of God's power. Anywhere you are watching this program, you are praying prayers. You are praying prayers. You are praying prayers. You are praying prayers. This is the day of God's power. The power of God will be released tonight. The power of God is being released tonight. The power of God is being released tonight. It's a glorious night, a powerful night. It's a night of authority. On the day of God's power, you exercise authority. You exercise authority. That family that the enemy has locked you up. Lock you up. Lock you up. Tonight is the day of God's power. You exercise authority. You break the shackles of jail. You break that padlock over your life. You break that padlock over your family. It's the day of God's power. It's the day of God's power. I feel the power of God tonight. I feel the awesomeness of God tonight. I come but but speak out. The power is so much tonight. The power is so much tonight. The power of God, God is so much tonight. Your yokes can be broken now. Your yokes is broken now. Your fetters is broken now. Your fetters is broken now. Your fetters is broken now. Pray. name we pray. From the text where we read, I love Joshua. He's my senior brother. I love him. He's the type of people I like moving with. He knows what it means to experience the day of God's power. And at the battle of Ajalot, he needed to finish the enemy. He needed to finish the enemy. And he did the impossible. You can do the impossible tonight. Yes. You can do the impossible tonight. And that's why wherever you are watching this live program, take advantage of this, pro of this program. We are not here to play. We are here to demonstrate the power of God. These are the days of signs and wonders. And we are committed to this cause. We are committed to this ministry. So take advantage of this night. It's a powerful night. And anything is possible this night. Everything is possible tonight. There is no problem ca that cannot be solved tonight on the day of God's power. There is no mountain that cannot be subdued tonight on the day of God's power. And Joshua knowing what God can do, the authority of God, the power of God, Joshua did what no man has done. He spoke to the son, and he said, Son, stand still. Son, stand still. He spoke to the moon, and said, Moon, stand still. The Bible says, The sun and the moon, they obeyed Joshua. And this night, you have to speak to your life challenges, yes. The Bible said that if you say to that mountain, be that removed, it shall be removed. Whatever is a, is a mountain in your life, that person that is there, I've said it before, the Lord ministered to me that somebody that is there, you have a sore, you have a sore, and that sore has refused to go. This night, on this day of God's power, the power of God will touch you. That demonic soul that have defied every medical solution, that soul will dry up in the name of Jesus. On the day of God's power, everything and anything is possible. Expectant mothers that are there, 
This night is your night. You speak to your womb. Joshua spoke to the sun. Joshua spoke to the moon. And they obeyed him. The moon obeyed Joshua. The sun obeyed the command, the command of Joshua. And this night you are go, we are going to pray once again. You are going to speak to that mountain. You are going to speak to that your challenge. You are going to speak to that barrenness. You are going to speak to that enemy. That poverty that has been the order of the day in that family. You are going to speak to that poverty. And say poverty, this day is the day of God's power. I command you to bow in the name of Jesus. That problem, the Bible said that strangers shall hear my voice, yes, and they shall come out with fear and trembling. That sickness in your body is a stranger. On, and on this day, the day of God's power, you are going to speak to those sicknesses, those incurable sicknesses. You are going to command that sickness. You sickness, I command you to come out of my body in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to speak to those your life challenges, yes. It's the day of God's power. If you don't speak to your challenge, your challenge will remain with you. If you don't speak to the enemy, they will not give way from your life. If you don't speak, if you don't speak, nothing will happen. Joshua spoke before something happened. It's when you speak that the, the, the Lord will release his power. It's when you speak to your mountain that the Lord will back up the, your world and cause your mountain to collapse. And this night is the is day of God's power. It's a glorious night. It's a night to remember. You speak to that challenge. You speak to that barrenness. You speak to that captivity in your life. You speak to that sickness. You speak to that mountain. You speak to that challenge. You speak to that thing that has overwhelmed your life. It's a day of God's power. It's a day of God's power. Everything is possible tonight. It's the night of solution. It's the night of solution. The power of God is released tonight. The power of God is being released tonight. Yokes are broken tonight. Fetters are broken tonight. The enemy is, is being subdued tonight. Pray tonight. Call upon the Lord. Is the our solution? Is the our solution? Is the our solution? Rise up wherever you are. Rise up wherever you are. You speak to your challenges. You speak to that mountain. Mountain, your time has expired. Yes. Goliath, your time has come. Your reign over my life has come to an end. Goliath, your reign over my family. Your dominion over my family. Your dominion over my life has come to, to an end. Yes. You speak that way. Yes. You speak. The reign of the enemy has come to an end. The reign of principalities and powers. The reign of sickness. The reign of that life challenge. That life challenge that have overwhelmed your life. The reign has come to an end tonight. You speak tonight. It's a night of authority. It's a night of addressing Goliath. It's a night of power. It's a night of power. It's the day of God's power. You speak tonight. You speak tonight. Who told you? Who told you that that womb cannot carry children? Who told you that that womb cannot carry twins? Who told you that that womb of yours cannot carry triplets? You speak to that womb, yes. It's the day of authority. It's the day of God's power. You speak to that womb. The womb that they said is dead. The fallopian tube that they said is blocked. You speak to it tonight. 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 It's the day of God's power. I introduce to you the power of God. I introduce to you the power of God, the power of my God. I introduce to you the power of my God. The Bible said that they that do know their God is a powerful God, the awesome God. He can do all things. He changes situations. He can do all things. He turns the night to day. He can do all things. It's the day of God's power. Pray tonight. The day of God's power. The day of God's power. The day of God's power. You exercise authority over the enemy. In your life, in your family. On the day of God's power, you exercise authority. You poverty in my life, I exercise authority. You sickness in my body that have defied medical solution. I exercise authority over you. On the day of God's power, pray. name we pray. It's a powerful night. The day of God's power. I 
And on the day of God's power, there is hope. On the day of God's power, there is life. On the day of God's power, there is recovery. On the day of God's power, there is revival. And tonight is the day of God's power. I'm, I'm excited tonight. I'm excited tonight because this night is the day of God's power. On the day of God's power, dry bones comes, comes alive. On the day of God's power, Lazarus, Lazarus comes forth. On the day of God's power, there is healing. On the day of God's power, blind Bartimaeus, he received the touch of God. On the day of God's power, famines it comes to an end. On the day of God's power, everything and anything is possible. And tonight is the day of God's power. Before I pray for you shortly, we are going to pray again. Tonight is the day of God's power. On the day of God's power, there is recovery. On the day of God's power, dry bones, dry bones, dry bones receive the touch of God. On the day of God's power, everything that is dead comes back to life. You are going to pray tonight again because tonight is the day of God's power. That is revival tonight. Is there anything that is dead in you? Is there any of your organs that is dead? Is there, any, is there anything that is dead in you? Dead in your body? Is there anything that is dead in you? Dead in your system? Dead in your, in your business? On the day of God's power, dry bone, in the valley of dry bone, came back to life. Hallelujah. I love that. And this night is the day of God's power. I don't see mountain anywhere. If you know me by the grace of God, I'm a child of God. I'm a servant of God. I don't see mountain anywhere. I don't see mountain anywhere. I'm not just telling you the Bible says. I have experienced God in my life. I'm somebody that had life challenges. But nothing, nothing but God is the one that came to my rescue. And this night, that power is still available. That power is still active. And the glory of the Lord will visit you tonight in the name of Jesus. You are going to pray once again before I round up the program. Everything that is dead in you, because today is the day of God's power. You command everything that is dead in your life to come alive, yes. Everything that is dead in you, dead in your family, dead in your business, dead in your finances, that pastor that is there, and your church is not growing. The Lord... They are watching this program with us. Your church is dead. Your church is not growing. Your church is dead. The enemy is he, he is doing something in your church. But today is the day of God's power. You command that church to come alive. In the church of our Lord Jesus Christ, upon this rock I will build my church. And the gate of hell shall not prevail. Everything that is dead in you, you command it to come alive. Yes. In the day of God's power, everything that is dead in you, dead in your finances, dead in your body, dead in your womb, dead in the body of your husband, you command it to come alive. Come alive in the name of Jesus. On the day of God's power, dry bone, dry bone came alive. On the day of God's power, dry bone came alive. Command everything that is dead in you to come alive. Everything that is dead in your body. They say your body is dead as a woman you cannot conceive. They say that womb is dead, is so weak. It cannot carry a baby. It's a lie. On the day of God's power, on the day of God's power, on the day of God's power, impossibilities become possible. You command that womb to come alive. You command your system to come alive. You command everything that is dead in you to come alive. The Bible says, on the day that Jesus spoke to Lazarus, Lazarus come forth. And Lazarus came forth. That was the day of God's power. At the tomb of Lazarus, the Lord spoke, Lazarus come forth. And Lazarus came forth. And tonight is the day of God's power. Everything that is dead in your body, you command it to come alive. Everything that is dead in your family, dead in your life, you command it to come alive. It's the day of God's power. The dead will come alive. Dead business come alive. Dead family come alive. Dead womb come alive. Dead vision come alive. Dead project come alive. Everything that is dead in you, you command it on this day of God's power. Come alive in the name of Jesus. These are the days of God's power. That's a God in heaven that answers prayers. They that do know their God shall be strong. They that do know their God shall be strong. He's a powerful God. He can do all things. He's a powerful God. He can break all yokes. He can subdue the enemy. This is the night of solution. A prayer-based program. 